Hello Aquarius viewers. So the last reading I did, I was getting that someone wants to communicate. They want to be open and honest with you. Um, they want to let you know why they've been distant. So I've been channeling the story for, I don't know, like a couple months at least now. And this is a story of someone who just has secrets, but they have good reason for their secrets. It's like, for the most part, it's like maybe someone who has health issues and they're just... They're not sure how to talk about them or they might be going through a custody battle and they just don't know how to tell you that or they're maybe getting a divorce and they just don't want to tell you and drag you into all the, the drama. Like it's, there's just something there where it's like they have good intentions but there is this energy, this consistent energy of secrecy. But I feel like a lot of them have either come clean or they're starting to come clean. Like they're starting to be more open and honest with you as this connection grows. Like they're starting to just feel closer to you. Um, I do get the energy too that they did not expect this connection. Like this really threw them off. Like they thought that they could have like certain things like they, they want to do first. Like they want to get their health in order or they want to um, maybe go to the gym, work out more. Like they want to be like physically in shape before they date or they want to um, focus on school first or focus on a career or something of that sort. So it's like they didn't expect this connection. It's like love just kind of came in out of nowhere. And so they're still processing that. They're still trying to figure out what to do about that energy. So some of them are kind of being distant because they're dealing with something and they don't want to lose you, but they want to like deal with this first before they can fully commit to you. So I hope that makes sense. So it's almost like this connection just came out of nowhere, like this love came out of nowhere and they want this connection with you. Like they feel good about you, but maybe some of them are just like rushing to catch up to you. Like some of them are like, oh crap, like I'm not in shape or I'm not, my health isn't great. So they're kind of like hiding it from you and trying to like hurry behind the scenes to get this all sorted out so they don't have to take this so they don't, they don't have to tell you all about it or like they're going through like a divorce or custody battle and it's like they really didn't expect love at a time like this so they're trying to just deal with all this behind the scenes and they might be kind of distant as they struggle to um to get this all sorted out like they're really trying to rush so that they can be ready for you but um but yeah, the energy I got a couple of weeks ago was that they're really wanting to communicate like openly and honestly and let you know why they've been distant. Like they want to be truthful about this now, but they're just kind of, maybe they've been testing the waters to see how you'll react. Um, so I don't know like where you guys are at. Like have they confessed this secret yet? Like what's going on with that with you guys? I'm not sure. Um, it'd be interesting to hear your stories, like hear what's, you know, what part of the storyline you guys are on right now. Let's see what the cards have to say. Actually, I was going to do a, um, like a bibliomancy reading just really quick. Something about this deja vu tells me that I have lived this life before, that I will always find my way back to you. Okay. Just a quick channeled message, and now we'll get to the oracle reading. Finances, career, yeah, like focused on like financial stabi stability, confusion, uncertainty, new love, overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging. Yeah, it's almost like you met them at a point where they were like focusing on like finances, career, um, legal issues, uh, health, fitness, um, just self-empowerment, self-betterment, and it like confused them and kind of threw them off that like you, this new love, this like faded encounter just came in like at the time that they were least expecting and least looking for love. You know, it just kind of came in overnight. And then they ended up like overthinking, overanalyzing, almost like self-sabotaging this because they're like trying to be ready for you, but they're not ready. So they're trying to like rush because they don't want to lose you. I feel like some of them have put you on hold too long. Like you guys got off to a really good start and then they just kind of like got distant or got kind of quiet and it looks like they're wanting to be open and honest with you about why that is and like send you a message so I feel like they're like their reasons are good like they're not just like blowing you off it just feels like their life is really not in order like they really were not prepared at all for this relationship so it's like right person but wrong timing but <coughs> oh sorry but I feel like they're going to make it the right timing. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the right time. Like, it really, like I said, it just threw them off. It was really unexpected. Like, they were focused on pretty much everything in their life but love. 
but I feel like they know that you're rare and they know that this connection is very special. And so they're not really willing to just let you go. Like they're, even though they're not ready for it, they're still, they're trying to rush and get everything in their life together so that they can focus on love and and make this commitment to you. And I feel like you might be getting a message like about if you haven't already, you know, they're wanting to message and, you know, tell you why they've been distant. Like they want to tell you what's been going on. They want to tell you like, hey, it's not you. It's just I have all this stuff going on in my life that I'm trying to figure out so that I can give you everything you deserve, you know. So it's like the same energy as before. I mean, they're still, it's like they're stuck in that energy. Like they're overthinking it. It's like they're still, they're still in that energy of like, almost like self-sabotaging. Like they know they want to message you, but they're, they just, I don't know if they've done it yet. Have they done it? Have you guys heard from them? Have you gotten this open, honest communication? I'm just wondering where you guys are at in the storyline. So I know where to go with this. Like, you know, I mean, I don't really ask the cards anything. I just put the intention in of channeling your energy and channeling your person's energy. And sometimes it's like, there's not a huge update. Sometimes it's this, you know, same, same energy. It's just, this is your story. You know what I mean? It's not like set in stone. It's just, this is, I'm just reading your energy and I'm reading your person's energy. So it's whatever your current story is. I mean, you have a big say in, in what that story is. So keep that in mind that I'm channeling you. I'm channeling your person, you know? Um, so it's up to you guys really. But yeah, it's like they're still design they're still thinking about that message. I just don't know if they've sent it. It's like, have they seriously just been for the past two weeks like thinking about how to message and what to say and like sabotaging themselves and overthinking it? Because I feel like they want to come clean with this message, but some of them are f afraid that they're gonna lose you. Like some of them want to say like, hey, like I'm actually, I know I told you I was divorced, but I'm actually in the middle of a divorce. Like we're still going to court to make the divorce official, and they're just like scared that you're gonna be like, oh, screw you. Or they're like, you know what, like, I don't know how you feel about kids, but I'm actually trying to get custody of my kids. Like, what do you think about that? Or like, I have a health issue that I didn't tell you about, or I'm, I'm going to counseling. I have a mental health issue. We you know, what do you, are you come to like, what do you think about that? It, it's some kind of secret like that, where it's like, but they're, they're going in circles. It's like, it's frustrating because I know you guys want like updates, but it's like the same energy. They're still like thinking about this message they're wanting this adventure with you they're wanting this like honeymoon vacation adventure yeah courage assertiveness forward movement loyalty stability vows so i feel i do feel like this message is closer to coming in if it has not come in already we've got waiting hoping praying it's like they're making this happen. Like they're committed to making this happen. They're committed to like loyalty, stability, making their life what they want it to be. But again, they've just been kind of distant because they're trying to sort everything out and like be ready for you. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to make sure they have all their ducks in a row so that they don't get with you and end up like messing this relationship up. Like they want to be honest with you. And some of them do have a secret and they've been keeping that secret. So I'm like, I, like for those of you that have been following me for like a, like a couple months or so, like have they still kept that secret? Have they come clean with you guys yet? Like... I think it would just help me to like know where you guys are at in this storyline so that I can like kind of like it helps with the cards like with the energy like knowing what's like where are you guys at have you guys gotten the message yet like what's what's up um so I mean I channel but it also helps me to like know how to interpret the cards too if like you guys are like oh yeah I got a message and they said they want to take me on vacation then it's like okay that makes sense you know like something like that like But yeah, it's like they are they are summoning the courage to be loyal, to be stable, to be the person they want to be, especially for you. It's like you're bringing out the best version of them. Um, I feel like they had like old toxic ways in the past and they're coming through that like they want to be a better person for you. I feel like they've been like stagnant also and they're they're coming out of that toxicity. They're coming out of that devil energy. Yeah. And of a like stagnation, um, devil energy, toxic patterns, maybe like addictions whatever it might be, like you're helping them end that, you know, end of a pattern or cycle, breakthrough, freedom, like just 
being yourself, just that support that you're showing them, even if you guys aren't together right now, they still feel that support. They feel that love telepathically and it's helping them in these patterns. Sadness, nostalgia, pulling them in slowly or pulling them in, taking it slow, getting to know each other. Interesting. Choose a path. Hmm. Some of you could also have an ex coming back around. And if this is your story, if this is your story and you want a paid private reading, um, I can go more in depth. Just, you know, send me an email. My email is right below the, in the description box right below this video. My donation links are also below. So any donations appreciated, no donations too small. And um, please subscribe if it resonates as well. I feel like a lot of them are like sad. Like they're nostalgic. Like they want to go back. Like maybe some of them like met you and they're kind of like being silent. Like they're kind of detaching a little bit and they're like, and they're not telling you what's going on with them, but they're like missing you and they're wanting this connection with you and they're like upset. Because they're like, they know that they need to sort this energy out, but they don't know how to tell you what this energy is. They don't know how to, they don't know how to express themselves. Well, maybe there's someone that's like, maybe they, maybe they were taught to um, hide their emotions. Like they were taught to kind of be strong all the time and, um, you know, just hide everything and like be very independent, very like introverted. And with you, they're very vulnerable. They're very emotional. They feel that like safety with you, like you're their safe space. But maybe like maybe, you know, what they're what they've been taught in their childhood might be coming into play here where they feel like they just don't know. Like how to reach out, like they don't know, like they want to reach out, but they're struggling, like they're not sure what to say. They're not sure how to really be vulnerable, even though they miss you and they want to be vulnerable. It's almost like eight of swords energy where it's like they're causing their own sadness. They're breaking their own heart by doing this, by being so stubborn and being so, um, controlled and thinking that they have to have everything in order they have to be perfect before they can be worthy of love and so it's like they're nostalgic they're longing for you it's like they want to go back you know to the start with you like they want like a do-over but I feel like maybe just time is going by and they're like being more and more quiet and like getting stuck in their head and as that happens it's like they're less and less sure of what to say to you you know um It's like I just get the sense of like wanting us to start over but it's like they maybe they haven't talked to you for an entire month and so they're not sure what to say now it's like it's like they've dug themselves this hole you know what I mean like where they could have just like talked to you and said hey I need to be honest with you about what's going on but instead they thought you know I'll I'll just I'll just just be distant from them I'll just you know not be with anyone right now. I'm just going to focus on this other, on these issues. I'm going to sort all this out. And then I'm going to come back to them when I get this sorted out, when I'm really ready to commit. And then they're noticing now that like a month has gone by since you guys have talked and they're just like, Oh crap. Like, what do I say? Like, what do, like, they don't know what to do. You know, it's like, they're, they're realizing how much time has gone by or they're like, you guys are talking, but like not as much as you guys should be talking. Like they're, there's just like this sense of like distance, you know, like longing here, like where they want to be closer to you, but they don't know how to be. They don't know how to take that next step. Um, just because, you know, like I said, like everything in their life is not together. And, you know, we've gotten this energy before, but it's like at some point they have to break and they have to realize um, that, you know, they're not going to be able to get this together in time. Like this could be like a health issue that could take several months or even years to figure out or it could be a custody battle where they're like oh I'm going to get this done in like three months but it's actually going to take a year little do they know you know something of that sort and like at some point they just need to realize like they're going to have to communicate 
Um, it honestly seems like they're going further and further in their head. They need to know. I feel like the key here is like they need to. There needs to be a breakthrough between you guys. You guys need to communicate. And I feel like the secret needs to come out. Like they need to just tell you. Like maybe they just need to know that they're going to be accepted. Like. They need to let go of their control issues is what I'm getting here. Like they need to stop trying to feel like they can plan everything out and, you know, oh, I'm going to have this together at the three month mark. I'm going to have this at the six month mark. And at the seventh month mark, that's when I'm going to commit to you. You know what I mean? It's just like really like you can't plan it out like that. They just need to let go of those control issues and just let this unfold naturally and just be with you, even if it's messy, even if there's stuff to get to, even if there's stuff to get through. So if you can maybe help them change their perspective, like maybe if you guys talk and you can like let them know like, hey, everything like you don't need to be. It's like they have it stuck in their head that they need to be perfect to be worthy of love. So maybe you can, you know, help them shift their perspective, like help them get into that more like adventurous kind of free spirited energy because they have a lot on their plate. There's a lot of stress and maybe... I mean, maybe you can just help them shift that perspective because that, that would be the key, I think, you know, like shifting that perspective so that they get like, hey, like they can date you now and still be going through a custody battle and you'll be there for them, you know, like you can date them now and they can still have these health issues and you'll like go to the doctor with them or you'll you'll be there like it's fine. Like they need to understand that this is not like a deal break or whatever the secret is like they need to get that through their head that like like that you're still going to accept them, you know? So maybe kind of like just help them shift that perspective to kind of show them like they deserve love just as they are and that they don't need to control everything. Like I think that they need to, I think they also need to know that you're not just going to wait for them. Cause I think a lot of them, and it's not like in a toxic way, but it's kind of like they want to be perfect for you. So a lot of them are thinking like, They'll just kind of give you breadcrumbs here and there, like just enough to keep you. But then they're going to deal with all these, these issues that they have going on. And then they're going to come back to you when they're ready, like when they've sorted their life out and they have like they can focus more on love. You know what I mean? And I think that they need to know that they can't do that. They can't just keep you on hold and breadcrumb you like they need to know that, like, if you guys are going to do this, you need to do this. You know what I mean? Like. They need to know like, hey, like maybe it wasn't the right time for you for love. Maybe it wasn't what you expected, but like we can figure this out. Like you can, they need to get that because I feel like this person is so like committed to specific things. Like they don't, it's like they have like a one track mind. You know what I mean? It's like, like you can focus on the custody battle and still have a relationship. You can go to school and be focusing on, you know, uh, graduating or focusing on getting a promotion at work or whatever it is that they're doing that they're trying to perfect in their lives it can be multiple things actually they can do all these things and still have a relationship like they you know what I mean like maybe they're used to people that are like really demanding of their time and so they feel like relationships are going to be like their priority like they have to be a priority and they need to know that like you guys can have a relationship where you guys are independent where you guys where they can still focus on other things in their life you know what I mean like they need to they need that perspective shift they need to understand that they, they just they need there needs to be some a breakthrough with you guys because this is the same energy I hate to say it like I mean because like I said I don't ask the cards questions I just tap into your energy and I tap into your story and your person's energy and um like we're pretty much at the same point where we're at where we we're at two weeks ago honestly it's pretty much the same. So, you know, and I want to give you guys a new story. I don't want to just be repeat. You know what I mean? Like, I know you guys want updates, but it's like, it's whatever their current energy is. And this is the current energy. There hasn't, I don't see any major changes here, honestly. Um, although I would say, I feel like they've gone further into their head. It's almost like more time has gone by and now they're like causing themselves pain, like eight of swords energy, where it's almost like they're more distant because now they're recognizing like, oh crap, like, I haven't messaged them in a week or I haven't messaged them in two weeks or whatever. And they're like, Oh, what do I do now? Like, you know what I mean? Like that kind of energy where they're like, it's like they've dug themselves a hole and it's like, they're a little bit deeper in that hole than they were a couple weeks ago. Like before I was getting like, they're really wanting to communicate, be open and honest with you, let you know what they've, why they've been distant. And I'm still feeling that energy, that card, that open, honest communication card came out. Like I'm still getting that same energy that they want that. But it almost feels like they're further away from it now. Like they, 
are actually more confused now because like of the time that's gone by, like, and they've started overthinking the message. Like they maybe thought like, well, I haven't talked to them in a week or like, well, if I tell them the secret, they might leave me or you know, they just got in their head. And now it's like, they're on this like downward spiral where they're like creating issues in this connection that are not even there. So it's almost like some of you might have to take control in this connection, to be honest. Some of you might have to just be like, they're just some something needs to give something needs to break here so that this energy shifts because this is this is not there's there's only a couple little differences from what we got a couple weeks ago to be honest so um but yeah hopefully something will shift like maybe and you know like I said this is your story so you guys have free will here like if you guys make this shift um then that's gonna come up in a couple weeks we're gonna see what the updates are you know so, um, so yeah, let me know what's going on with you. I really want to hear from you guys about this too. Um, also, would anyone be interested in a Patreon account? Cause I know I'm getting some people that are wanting um, me to focus on new love. Some people are wanting me to focus on like exes, old love. Some people are wanting shadow work readings. Like, so I was thinking with a Patreon, I would probably charge like eight bucks a month and do in-depth readings where I would, um, like do like the new person, the old person, like shadow work, like what's going on with like their shadow side, just or your shadow side, both. Um, and just 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 more details. So would any of you guys be interested in that? Just let me know. Uh, Cause I'm yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching.